There I say it, the flag drops. Hold up the flag and drop that. You don't have to pick it up, Doctor. You'll hurt your back. First of all, I want to thank you all for coming out here. Many of you traveled from all over the country at great uh, expense, uh, and uh, and we thank you very much. By the way, the press here, this is about, write this down, liberty. <laughs> you see this building here? You own that building. People who run that building today, they reject limited constitutional government. They have spent trillions and trillions of dollars that do not belong to them. They have bankrupted our children. They have driven unemployment to nearly 10%. They are destroying small businesses. They are nationalizing large businesses. They don't believe in private property rights. They're taking a wrecking ball to this magnificent society. And that's the first nine months. I know they haven't read that bill. Because I know they can't write first place. <laughs> not you. I mean them. But they're not done. Having ruined the banking system, the auto industry, the housing market, energy production, the education system, having robbed the Social Security Trust Fund, the Medicare Trust Fund, and the Highway Trust Fund, now they tell us to trust them. <laughs> Trust them? No! Now they have their sights on the mother of all entitlements. They want to control you. They want to control your children, your parents, your doctor, your nurse, you and the press. You're getting all this down? This is brilliant stuff. <laughs> These are patriot citizens out here, and I'm tired of them being smeared, to be perfectly honest with you. Now they want to control health care. They want to control what kind of insurance you can purchase. They want to control if you can purchase insurance. They want to decide what benefits you can and cannot have. They want to decide how much you're going to pay. And they want to ration care. And the bottom line is they want to play God and decide who lives and who dies. That's pretty scary. And for them, when they're asked, where's your authority under the Constitution, they laugh. The hell with the Constitution, they say. The hell with individual liberty and private property. The hell with people who want nothing to do with this, which is most of us. But not so fast. We're not ready for this. The American people, vote them out, he says. <laughs> Why? Let me tell you something. They don't know what they're in for next November, do they? All right, it's a press conference. Doesn't much matter. They won't get it right anyway. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Who am I to stop it?
of us could never say. He said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same, or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States when men were free. God bless you. God bless America. Woo! <laughs>